just hate the card. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. That's good. I have something urgent to tell the King. Then you shall have your chance. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osaram gets special what treatment, and now outlanders from the savage her. east? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. I'd like to see out as Miss Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken. Not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osiron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osiron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Asaram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was... broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve... well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims. Especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. Karja have been here working since the Spire cast a shadow on the Mesa. The Asarai and you. Bandit 
try to get past me, they'll have a fight. Look. Sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. My men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there.
few minutes anyway. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them all, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. Machines, shoot their chains.
That's that. Val says you gotta eat dirt. This is it. Close. Ursa must be in there. We have Locked. to get through. Must be one of Durval's paralyzers. Stay put until I find a way past it. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Give me the upper hand. Ursa! Aaron? Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> No. Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I... I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down.
This machine's been picked apart with precision. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? Durval's records, maybe. Just notes about crafting. Between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long. But I need to tend to my sister. What happens when I turn around? I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone... I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems... cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. I will. But once this threat to Meridian is dealt with, another one looms. We have to talk about the Eclipse. We will. I promise.
and alert. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. I see someone. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. <sighs> this is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. For us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. It's a bomb, all right. Well crafted. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's gotta be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is going to get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh. We did it! Durval's best shot. The Meridian's still standing. This is over. Duval said he'd make a Vob watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Duval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. Boot tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Did you hear that blast? Are we under attack? Able bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts.
Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. Almost dark. Can't wait for bed. Must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. <sighs> 